Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. So I wait three weeks before doing an update after the end of the Thai event. And the next day they drop a three-week Halloween event. I have such great timing with this. Well, we have a three-week Halloween event. We have a new mercenary commander, we have a new building, and we have opportunities to get research, trade items, and please, I need gears. I have 60 to my name and I need 2,000. So we're going to take a look at that. However, first, I think I need to address the 800-pound uh, gorilla in the room, and that is the flashing. I have to tell you, I actually had to debate whether or not I was going to do this video because the flashing is absolutely out of control. I've done everything on my side I can to make it go away or at least diminish it, but it seems every time they do an update to this game, it gets worse, and it's just horrible at the moment. I'm really debating whether or not I can continue this series or not because it is so terrible. So I just wanted to make you aware that I am aware of it. And it's just really ugly. So if this series just magically vanishes, that's probably going to be the reason. I just needed to address that. So let's check out the Halloween event here. All right, we're going over here into the upper right. You can see I already have some of the currency. I'm at a stop because it wants me to make the building. So we're going to be doing that in this episode. All right, this looks very familiar, right? So you're going to be doing quests and you're going to be collecting the currency, which, by the way, what is the name of the currency again? Pumpkin tokens. That's what it is. It's pumpkin tokens. We're going to be collecting pumpkin tokens in order to advance this. So what this is used for is for leveling your new building. And in this case, our new building is the Crypt of the Count which kind of works because our new mercenary commander is Vlad Dracula. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be Vlad Tepes, you know, Vlad the Impaler, who was based off of Dracula, but, you know, they're just going to go with it, make a new character. We'll call him Vlad Dracula, all right? All right, so this is the building right here. And, yeah, look at that first one, level one. It gives happiness in a radius of one. The Crypt of the Count gives happiness. I just wanted to be clear on that. All right, so if we get to level 10, we'll get a nice little thing here, a little care package with stuff. We could get trade items here. Uh, we could get tickets. This last one is interesting because apparently we will be able to choose which ticket we want. Can I have the one that does all of them, please? That would be the one that I would want. And, of course, then we can also possibly get some research and a lot more happiness in a radius of one. I'm not really sure why a crypt is giving happiness, but you know what? It's their game. It's not mine. Anyway, we want to get this to level 10. Hopefully, there won't be any problems with the dual battles, which now are very difficult to do because we cannot refresh our troops with a video. Um, I was able to get through the last one and get the full level 10 building. I'm hoping that um, that's something that's going to be able to happen again. All right. So the way it works is, like I said, we want to get this currency. They give you a bit every day. I think it's 150. Some of the incidents also will give you the opportunity to get some. But the big way you're going to be doing it is we're going to go over there right now is right here. We're going to be doing some missions for Vlad over here. And you can see over here, as soon as I complete this, I'll get my first mercenary commander here for him, Vlad Dracula. So you can see what it's telling me to do right now, too, is I need to actually make my crypt. So I completed the first level here. You can see it's on 2 of 10. And it gave me the little token that I need to actually place it. So that's what we're going to do right now, because then we're going to see what missions are coming up afterwards. So obviously I have a lot of room down here, so we can put it over here until I decide on something better. I actually do have, yeah, I have a um, an extra spot I can open up. It's just that uh, I need the guys doing things. So there's Hardly a rush. Look at all the space I have. I'll probably put it back here, and I might stash his spot back there, depending on how big it is. 
All right, so let's see about this. It should be in my inventory, right? All right, let's go to the inventory and buildings. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we could do something with the Mad Scientist Lab, but I guess it's a one-shot deal, right? All right, so the Crypt of the Count. Okay, it's small. Does it fit in? It fits inside one area. How wonderful. All right, well, I guess we can just leave it here so it can make everything happy. I'm not sure why a crypt is making people happy. All right, boom, it's down. All right, so let me close this up. Let's select this. And everybody is happy because there's a crypt. Okay, that guy is cheering over there. Do you see him? Well, anyway, I have completed two missions here. This is the normal one. The one at the bottom is one you get for leveling up. All right, and I got some research and I got some pumpkin tokens. So I'll get another one at level five. I believe level eight is the next one. After that, you have to get it to level 11. And unless you're going to reach into your pocket, good luck with that. Usually you come up just short in free to play. So they encourage you to actually do that. See, if you get it, you're going to get a token at the end to crank it up to level 12 if you get it to 11. But you got to get it to 11. All right, we completed this one up here. So what is the next uh, mission here? Oh, we're going to have to do productions, aren't we? Okay, I was hoping it would be something a little bit nicer, like collect money, uh, collect food, or do incidents, because I have some of them on the screen. But we're just going to go right for the medium productions, aren't we? Okay, well, you know what? You do what you got to do. All right, so let's just start some of them. How many did it want again? Was it 12? No, it was 14. All right, well, you know, not much I can do about that. It's going to take 10 minutes. Okay, so that is three. That is six. That is nine. And that is 12. And then I have one more here. We'll just do 15 because we might as well, right? All right, so those are going to take 10 minutes uh, by the time of the last one that I put in. So I do actually have, of course, some pumpkin tokens. So why don't we just spend what we have? All right, so there's two ways to level your, in this case, Crypt of the Count. One is to complete the missions, and then they occasionally give you a token where you can just level it up. The other, of course, is to use your pumpkin tokens in this configuration here in order to get to a level. So the idea is to fill the cauldron up to 30. You fill it up to 30, you get a token that you can use to level up your Crypt of the Count. The way you do it is you spend the, uh, the pumpkin tokens at the bottom. Now you can see, look at the first one there. The little green droplet there has a one in it. If you were to click on that, it would consume some of your tokens, basically the 210, and it would move it to one. So it would be one of 30. If you go to the last one, it would spend 610, but you get three. Always go with the big number because, as you can see, it's a better bang for the buck. See, if you do the first one three times, then it's going to cost you 630 as opposed to spending three at one shot, which is 610. It always works out that way. Of course, that can be a bit slow if you have a lot of tokens. So they put this little switch over here so you can multiply it by five. So for the last one, instead of spending 610, I'm going to spend 3,050, which is not going to give me three. It's going to give me 15. In other words, I'm going to go halfway. That's the way I like to do it. It's the best bang for the buck. Save them up and do it that way. Of course, I'm also doing them in videos, too. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to do one of these because I don't really have a lot of the currency. So you build up the currency, and you do a whole bunch, and you move it, and you also do the missions, too, because that's going to give you tokens for advancement, and hopefully you can get to uh, level 10. So I am just going to click on this right now. I'm going to spend the vast majority of my tokens Hopefully, we're going to get good things. Mercenary commanders would be good. Uh, trade items I don't really care about because I have as much as I want. Uh, research is good. Gears. I want gears. All right, so let's click on this and see what happens. Okay, gears! 
Gears. Oh, well, you can also get skins and pieces, too. By the way, we're going to use that skin. Gears! Lots of gears! Okay, I'm happy with that. Can we have that every time, please? Okay, so I got 150 gears. And you can see that the cauldron filled halfway. So if I had another 3,000, notice it actually dropped there. It's weird. It's random. It doesn't always do that. If I had another 3,000 of those tokens, I could fill it all the way up. It would give me a token. I could go out, select my uh, crypt of the count, and then I could level it up again. But of course, I don't have that because I don't have any more tokens. So that's just the way that is. And no amount of doing quests in this video is going to get me another 2,500, well, 2,410. And I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't like wasting it on little moves. I figure if you're going to do it, just do it. The only time I end up spending what I ever have left is at the end of the event. Because at that point, you might as well just spend whatever you have to get whatever you can. Extra research, extra gears. I was just wonderful. More like that. That'd be very good. Uh, so that's just about it for now. Um, there's nothing more we can do here because I don't have any more. And of course, I am going to be waiting a long time for these guys to be done. Yikes. I mean, that's going to be 30 minutes. So we're not going to be seeing that now. Anyway, uh, the idea, of course, is to level this thing up to level 10. Basically, as you level it, you'll get more and more things until you get to level 10 over there somewhere with the incredible amount of happiness. I don't know really what's going on with that. But the more you level it, the more things it will actually do for you. I have a, a number of these items here. Like, for instance, this was the last one we got. This was the reward for the tie event. It's a little bit awkward because of the fact that it's taking up two spots, though, if you'll notice. It is kind of long. It takes up two spots. I'm happy that this one is basically just one square. And I basically just kind of leave things around in case I have to do them later. I leave incidents, and uh, I also let my um, research build up. Uh, yeah, sorry about the flashing. Nothing I can do about that. See, I don't really spend the research during these events unless it actually asks me to. I know some people will say, oh, well, you're wasting it because it's not building up. And then, of course, you have a mission that comes up and says, spend 14, which means how am I going to do that? Yeah, I'd have to wait to get more to come in. I'd rather just let it all build up during events so that I can get the quest done as quickly as possible. So I might have like 90 by the end of the event. Probably not because it also has me spend things. Another thing it likes to do is it'll say, complete a research. It really loves doing that. So if I was to fill this one up down here, um, I wouldn't actually complete it because I know they're going to ask me to do that. They're going to say, complete a research. So like if, if I spend all of the uh, research over there, I'm not going to actually finish it because I know they're going to ask me for it. And I do things like let the, uh, the money sit there, the food sit there. That way, when they inevitably get to the points where they say, collect food, collect money, there was one in the last event that was extremely irritating. It said, collect 1.5 million gold. The problem with that is that took like a day and a half even watching the videos to increase the amount you were gathering to actually get that much because there's only so much it can produce and hold on to. So in a situation like that, you need time, a lot of time. There's nothing else you can do about it at that point. And you can see, yeah, I have a lot of these little buildings. They're very useful. A lot of them basically give me uh, research. A lot of my research comes from them. The trade items, like I said, I don't really care about the trade items because if you look at the uh, Byzantine era there, yeah, I mean, I'm good to go. And getting more is kind of easy uh, because all I have to do is go into plank production and then turn around and sell them, and they sell really quickly. Yeah, I got a lot of these buildings over here, and I was lucky enough to get them to level 10. There was one that I don't know did I put it back in I don't think that I did oh that reminds me we got a skin hold it a minute let's uh, let's use that skin 
Sometimes they can be very useful. Uh, where is uh, customizations here? Okay, where was it? Oh, Halloween event. Here it is right here. Okay, so that's going to give me trade items. All right, why don't we just throw that on somebody? Uh, that one right over there. Okay, I don't want to click on the money because I might need to gather money. Got to be very careful about that. All right, so that one's going to give me trade items in addition to the normal money. So yeah, the um, customizations slash skins are very useful. Use them when you can. And uh, yeah, these guys are good. I'm glad I have lots of space now since they took the wonders and they put them up here. That way I don't have to worry about what I'm going to place and what I'm not going to place. Yeah, where was that one? I was, it wasn't this one. Yeah, that was it. That was the Persian one right there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that to level 6 because that's when they changed the, uh, the dual round combats where you could only use the troops in the second round that you used in the first round, which meant you really couldn't do it. But then again, they uh, unless you spent a lot of gems, by the way. Uh, but then again, they added the ability to um, watch a video once a day to heal your troops. And then, of course, well, they took it away before the last event, which was extremely unfortunate. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably going to be it because, yeah, it's going to take a long time before that food is done. You see the first ones are done, but that's 10 minutes. It's going to be 20 minutes before the rest of it is done. And uh, then I will advance it. Of course, the problem with that is... I can't do that without looting these as well. So in other words, I'm, I'm hoping nothing comes up that says, by the way, we want you to collect a lot of food because, yeah, my big food is going to go away. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So this is going to run for three weeks and we'll pop back next week to look at the progress. But like I said, the flashing thing is really making me think that maybe I shouldn't do this anymore because if you keep having that happen in a video, it's just really, it's not fun viewing. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it and play games because games are fun. See ya.